Hey guys, it's Fred with uh, Lightspeed Construction. I am here in Gatlinburg doing a inspection on a roof. Um, something is a residential home, it's not a rental. Um, first thing I noticed when I came up here, the, the roof is definitely older. A lot of patching on the roof um, with, you know, a sealants and with uh, shingles as well, um, among like uh, that flex seal stuff that you spray on as seen on TV stuff. Um, and the other main thing I noticed was the amount of moss and mold up here. There's tons of it. Lots of algae on the shingles. Um, but I'll go ahead and start showing you some of the, the molding up here. Um, so, so right here. You can see all the, the mold down through here. There's a lot of it. Um, there is even there's some all through. I mean, it's all across the roof. But, you know, mold likes to grow right along the edges right here now when they do that there's a root system it's a very fine hair like system that grows underneath the shingles to stay out of the sun um in doing so that those little strands that run up in there they'll wick moisture underneath the shingles causing the nails to basically rust out um, you can see i mean just how much there is all through here um right along through here there's a bunch more um, on the fascia metal right here or this counter flashing uh, it looks like they ran the counter flashing up too high so now you can see that this is actually causing a cupping problem you know it goes right here goes down dips in and goes back up uh, you can kind of see at the bottom right there so you can see how high that is i mean it's it sticks way up so you lift it up here there is about let's see if i can adjust the lighting where you can see that not really there's about an inch and a half gap between the shingle. Come on now, focus. Between the shingle and the wood decking from the roof. Um, because it literally comes up on a slope like this. So this, was, this is way too high. You can see it should be about an inch and a half. It should come to right about here. Right about there. That way these shingles could lay flat with the roof. But they can't because this is way too big. Um... Some of the things I've seen over here, you know, like I said, they use a lot of flex seal and they spray around the edges right here. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, I'll show you right here. Uh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they sprayed this one too, but as you can see, it doesn't really seal anything. It doesn't do much at all. Uh, more moss down through there. Oops, focus. One of the things I spotted out right here was, as you can see, there's a big lump here. There's a big lump right there. It's basically the um this is an older home built in the 50s so this is probably a true one by six or one by eight decking on the roof and there's the boards are starting to curl and kick up and lift this up a little bit come on lift this up. focus 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 it's not gonna focus for me hold on let me see if i can get a better angle here there we go you can see that board kicked way up right there um, it's the same as the one right here. Dang, it's not wanting to focus today. There we go. Um, homeowners having a leak over in this area right here. Um, I deduced it to basically this pipe boot. I believe water's getting down underneath this. Oops, sorry. Down underneath this section here and back flowing underneath that. And right here, there is a nail pop, as you can see. Come on now. There we go. There's a nail pop sticking way up right there. Um, and this is almost exactly where the leak is inside. So I would say between this and those that pipe boot over there. Come on now. That's probably where most of the leaking is coming from. Um, as you go down through here, you can see just, you know, more moss. A lot of moss growing inside the gutters. More moss growing down here, all over this pipe boot. I'm surprised this pipe boot isn't... Uh, leaking at the moment but it's not I mean, you can see how tall that is but i was really on it too but yeah i mean you can see that's a big chunk of moss and it's like that all over the roof i mean there's lots of moss um and moss is absolutely terrible for your shingles not only because it eats the shingles but it actually like i said the root system grows under the shingles wicking moisture under it so you can see there's another nail pop right here actually i found five or six nail pops there's a big one right there up underneath there. Um, so, you know, 
Does it need another roof? Yeah, it does. Does it have to have it? Not right now. What it needs is a major roof tune-up. And, um, you know, that should give her, you know, a few more years out of this roof anyways. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to pitch to the homeowner is a, a very good roof tune-up where come over, maybe clean a lot of this moss off, uh, fix all the nail pops, caulk in all these pipe boots, and uh, basically come over here to this area where that metal was at is holding the shingles up, cut that metal off, bring, let those shingles drop back down to where they're supposed to be. That way there's no more cupping. You can see underneath that area where the shingles are at, there is some wood rot, but it's not terribly bad yet. I'd say another year or two and it's going to be pretty bad. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any needs at all, whether it's a small stain on your ceiling or, you know, you look up on your roof and you see a shingle missing, um, this is what we do. We're experts at it. We are very good at it. This is, it doesn't cost you anything to give us a call. We come out, we'll do a full inspection on your roof, give you a free estimate and give you an idea what it's gonna cost and what it's gonna take to get your roof fixed or replaced, either one. Like I said, we do gutters too, so please feel free to give us a call. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thanks guys, see you next time.